Steve's gone missing. And given the fact that Warren wants him dead, I'm starting to worry. Well, it looks all right to me. So you are alive? Well, that's something. Oh, not now, please. Hey, do you know what? I think I'm gonna leave you both to this. I'll get out of it. Okay, that's it. Do you know what, mate? If I find someone and I hire them, I will let you take the credit. I'm be tearing my hair out. Worried you found your way into some drug den. I text you. Oh, rubbish about staying at a friend's house who I'd never even heard of. You couldn't even tell me you were leaving to my face. You would have talked me out of it. Listen, me staying out of the way. It's in everyone's interest. What was that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm not doing this here right now. I'll just phone you in a bit. Phone me in a... You'll tell me where you slept last night. It's complicated. If you've relapsed, you can tell me. I haven't relapsed. I was just next door. Warren took me in last night. Steve, he's toying with you. Oh, don't you think that he's made his point? What more can he do to me? Use your imagination. <laughs> Look, even if he was genuine, how long is that going to last? You're the reason his daughter is dead. As soon as you put a foot out of line, he'll kill you. That's my risk to take. And what about me? You've left me with two kids. One of them is a grieving teenage girl. I'm out of my depth. I need you. I miss you. And I miss you too. Then come home. We'll talk to Leah together. You can repair your relationship with her instead of spending time with a local gangster. Doing this for them. If I don't do as Warren has, then I can't guarantee they're going to be safe. You don't think he'd bring the kids into this? He has told me. He's already threatened Lucas and he was terrified. What did he say? It doesn't matter. I'm dealing with it. That's why I have to go now. I can't let him down. Oi. You promised me you're not going to do anything. He may have you wrapped around his little finger, but he doesn't have me. For God's sake, James, look, I've just told you I am begging you. Do not do anything. Warren, I know what it's like, like to have someone you love taken away from you. But these games you're playing with Steve, giving him a job, taking him in, it's got to stop. I've lost my daughter, James. And Steve, well, he might as well have lost this because he killed Leah's best mate. And now he's never going away. So what, you feel sorry for him now, is that it? I'm just trying to give Steve a chance to make things right. And if that means him being at my beck and call, then so be it. He's not got a problem with it. The only person that seems to have an issue here is you. Yeah, well, you might have Steve fooled, but you're going to have to work harder with me. You forget. I know you. I've known you for a long time. You're only out because of me. You want revenge, and you're not going to stop messing with Steve till you get it. But what he did was an accident. What I did, I planted Ella's boot in Kane's car. I framed him. I made you think justice had been served. So if you want to mess with anyone, you mess with me. Do you think I don't know you were involved, James? Do you really think I am that stupid? You know, I woke up this morning and I really did want to forgive Steve. But you, you have just put that image back into my head of you two covering up the death of my teenage daughter. You make me sick. Warren, what are you going to do? You just told me where it's going to hurt the most. And it's hopping around in my club upstairs. Warren! Don't hurt him! Smile. Uh, what are you doing? For the socials. No, I cannot be seen dead in here. This is temporary, OK? We agreed. Temporary. Oh, come on, Billy. Post that and I walk. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, working girl. I'm helping out a friend, OK? This doesn't mean I'm your employee. Technically, co-owner, so that's debatable. <sighs> oh, Dilly, come on, I'm just... <laughs> You. Hi, boss. Do you need anything? Oh. Hey. I'm sorry.
Thank you, everyone, for coming. I hope you're all as excited as I am about the relaunch of The Loft. It's been a long time coming. And while today is all about new beginnings, I'd like to raise a glass to those that have been left behind. To my beautiful daughter, Ella, taken too soon. You know, this world can be a very cruel place that we live in. Some of us already know this, but for some of us, we are about to find out exactly how cruel this world can be. To Ella. To, to Ella. 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 Are you really gonna disrespect my daughter's name in front of all these people? You know that I can't take it. Warren. I right, don't do this. Stay out of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> seen with me now, can you? Well, not with that attitude. Just let me in. I'm not going to talk to a door. Staying with me. I won't let you go back to Warren's. I thought me and you were done. What did you expect, Steve? You killed Sophie and Sebastian's sister. How could I stand by you after that? I had to take a side. No, I know. Thanks for at least standing by me today. Oh. Yeah, well, Warren doesn't get to talk to you like that. Inhumane. Do you not think he's got every right? No, Steve, he doesn't. Forcing an addict to drink that's messed up. He won't stop until you're dead, you know that, right? Despite what you've done. I won't let him take you from me. You're still my best friend. Come here. Well, I've missed you. And I love you so much. I know you do. There's nothing I can do, is there? I just have to take the punishment. Tell the crack. Well, there might be something we can do. What? We just we need some leverage over him, something to stop him in his tracks. What? Well, a confession for throwing you off that building would be a good place to start. If we can get that in our back pockets, then Warren is not going to bother you again. Now, if you want to watch a Hollyoaks episode in full, just click here or click here to keep up to date with all the drama from the village. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>